Hello, everybody! As you probably know, it's me, the Red Mage Pro, and welcome back to Chrono Cross. Yes, we are back to Chrono Cross. Lovely! New computer, new settings, hopefully everything is good. A lot of things happen with the Yakuza series that I'm doing, and I'm hoping that that doesn't kind of translate back into this. Now, I was told, I don't know if it's this area, or if it's, uh, back at the, uh, area we were at, the little island place. But I was told to talk to somebody in a bar. I'm, I think it's actually in the, uh, the island place, if I remember correctly, actually. So I don't know why I'm here just talking to these random NPCs. Yep. Let's go, and we'll use the boat to try and get back to that island place. Let's see if I even remember the way. Let's go get on the boat. Getting on the boat. Gotta get on the boat. Oh, it's just automatically moving. I don't get to control it. Oh, no! Oh, it just, it just goes here. Is this little island area? It is not. That is the sky dragon area. I don't think that's where we want to be going. Either way, go ahead and let me know whether or not the quality of both the video as well as the audio sounds relatively alright because everything had to be redone. I think this is the bar. What the hell is that thing? I think this is the thing that I was supposed to be talking to. Bring back memory. Hydra marshes, forest, although they call the- there are no more hydras there. After the hydras died off, I too left the forest. Ain't fit for living creatures anymore. Hunts and marshes respond to the sound of this tinkler. It ain't good for me, I'll give it to you. You bring it up to a plant, and like that, the plant will open up a path without you touching it. Hmm. Okay. That's good. What about... Can I not talk to you? Oh, I can talk to you. It's just really hard for whatever reason. Oh, I did not mean to come into your bar. I am so sorry. Why did the game freeze? Oh, welcome. It's a small shop, but feel free to browse. What you mean it's a small shop? I not lie how many times I have to tell you not to come behind the- you are an unfamiliar face. You're in my way. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, is there nothing- nothing else in here? Hello? Hi? Hello? Okay, bye! And there's this area. Okay, I made sure- why does it do this? I don't know. There must be something going on with, uh, with OBS. Something that I must have touched. That I never did in the original, in, in like my previous one because Freezes are quite often, and it can't be the game at this point, because I've updated- I mean, unless freaking drivers need new update, hold up. Guys, there are new drivers. <laughs> I swear, I just downloaded new drivers YESTERDAY! E even then, drivers were never like a complete and utter issue where like, 
my old computer would, like, consistently freeze. So it can't be the drivers, it has to be OBS. Something I must have, like, flipped or something. Okay, until I figure this out, I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to, like, play for a bit. Give me a moment. I'm gonna go save, guys. Okay, so, I took a look at a lot of things. Finally got my SSD, my 2 terabyte SSD to work. And, uh, from what I can tell... And what others are saying is that my my games being on my external hard drive may have been the problem. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's never been a problem. It could have been a problem. I I might not even be aware of it. hell is that uh however you know that doesn't mean that it hasn't always been a problem because it could have always have been a problem and i just wasn't aware of it also they're giving me a lot of freedom to go <laughs> they're giving me a lot of freedom to go wherever i so much as want and uh I'm not gonna lie, it's... It's a little scary. Uh... Where am I supposed to be going? Oh my lord. Uh, either way, I put all of my... I'm supposed to be heading to a fortress, am I not? And that's Arnie Village. I'm just kind of confused as- Whoa! Okay, that was cool. Um... Oh, I see. So this is gonna prevent me from going places? Kind of cool. Do they specifically say where I'm supposed to be heading? I don't know. Okay, so that's right. I, I took a look at the old recording. He said up and east that there was a small island. It must be Hermit's hideaway because, let's face it, this guy apparently must be a hermit. And so far I haven't noticed any freezing on my end. So maybe moving all my games to the SSD actually worked. What on earth happened? Could Lynx have done this? That's correct. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, Harley. The correct answer is I did this under Monsieur. Monsieur? Lynx's orders. He also came out of nowhere. Salut, Serge. Did you miss moi? Harley, what have you done with the radius? Ooh la la, Glenn, you're all fired up. Ooh. Tell me. Tis tis tisk. Excusez-moi, Serge, but do you want to know why I burned this place to the ground? Tell me. Well, first of all, to teach you all a lesson, and second of all, to get rid of that geezer who lives here. He is an ally of the Arcadia, uh, Arcadia Dragoons, and I hear he's quite skilled. I was disappointed to see that the geezer isn't here. I wonder where he went. And one more thing, Serge. 
Monsieur Lynx gave moi another order. That is to slow down your pursuit. Oh, come on. Here I go. I like, I like the fact that this character is a very constant thorn in my side. In fin, because the time you wish. Like, I like that she's a constant thorn in my side. Just because I like re reoccurring people, right? I like reoccurring villains. And she has, like, quite the fascination with the main character, which is all the more, like, to me, compelling. Just because why is she this, like... Why is she compelled to like me so? Why does she like me so? Is there an actual reason, or... Is it just because she thinks that the main character is, like, really cute? <laughs> I gotta know! Okay, time to see... Sta oh my god, they have no elements. I didn't properly equip them. Okay, dash and gash. Woo! It's just a freaking surge move. Oh, oh no. Oof. That really didn't do too much. Okay. She has a freaking broomstick. I love it. Bottoms up. Okay, I can't move it around. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Not what I was expecting. Manja, you can't just freaking... You can't just freaking do that to people. I'm pretty sure you practically broke her neck. Mon... Do moi is def defeat. God, I really don't know French. I'm sorry if I bur butcher your language, but defeated, fight, fight, fated. And I feel like that wasn't even like her full strength. She went very easy on us. After all, she was told to uh, primarily. Uh, delay us, not to kill us. Ooh la la, you really are strong. Tres forte. Tres forte? Surge. Well, that's all the fun for today. Au revoir, don't just disappear into the shadows. Join my team, please! <laughs> Are you one of Lynx's minions? Radius! Hey, wait. Isn't this, uh, freaking what's his face? The, uh, old man from my timeline who was the, uh, leader of my village. You are safe. I think he is. Oh, is that you, Glenn? It's been a while. You seem well. I'm glad you are all right. Yes. Miss Riddle had informed me that Lynx and the General are, were heading to Fort Dragonia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while. And it looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That is why I made sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. This man is smart. Also, no lagging. It turned. It might as well have turned out that probably everything being on the external was indeed the problem. The only other problem is I have a two terabyte freaking uh, SSD that can't hold all my games, and the reason I got this external hard drive was to hold all of my games. So now, well, I don't know. I got a, I got a quite a big, and I mean a big, freaking, um, you know, regular hard drive 
that maybe I could put all the games onto. But that's where I keep all my art stuff. And moving everything around is just going to be a pain in the butt. And I'd rather have my games on an SSD than a regular hard drive, that's for sure. Man, the dilemma dilemma. I believe it should still be intact. Lynx must be plotting something. By the way, Glenn, who are these people? Oh, they are. Well, no sense standing out here. Please, come in. Okay, so, here, here's what I really think about this game, right? And I don't mean, like, you know, my, my opinions on it, right? As of right now. I don't have... Like, I, I already love this game. I already think it's really cool. But, like... I want to say that... You might as well get every single character... And play the entire game with every single character, right? And you can have two people in the thing, and there's like over like 50, 60, something around those numbers uh, worth of people in this game that you can basically recruit, right? But the reason I say this is because everyone can have a... Everyone can have a different dialogue box. And the thing that pains me is that this game has three separate routes and multiple different routes, you know past this so th you can basically play this entire game multiple times there are multiple routes you, you can get so many different dialogues like i just thought about how like lena I, I believe her name is the you know the little love interest that the main character has and whatnot like i just thought about like you know, what if I actually had her in my party instead of freaking what's-his-face, Guile? You know, what would she have said at the point in time, finding out that I was from a different world, that I was still the boy, that I was the boy who drowned in this world, but, in a, but I'm the same guy from another world? You know? And that's what's kind of like... Oh, jeez, I can replay this game so many times, have so many different characters in my party that I would never get to see the audio or dialogue because there is no audio in the talking boxes. And I think that's really freaking cool. And yet, it's also very, very... I don't want to say it's aggravating because it's not aggravating. It's more along the lines of... Like, the, the feeling is that it's kind of irritate? No. It, it, maybe irritating is the closest word I can think of right now. Basically, like, overwhelming. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. It's very overwhelming because, like, I don't want to, like, put all my time and effort into seeing all these dialogue options. However, like, I think that, like, seeing these dialogue options would give a much better idea of who these characters are at a time. However, I'm limited to the fact that I need to have two characters. Actually, can I get rid of the main character? No, no. We gotta keep the main character out at all times. I either way, like, it's overwhelming. And I want to see everything, because that's just kind of like the completionist nature in me. But, like, all together, I don't have that time. There are so many games to play, so many things to do. And I think it's beautiful that, like, you know, these uh, developers put all this time into, like, a game like this. And I think it's just so sad that, like, you know, everybody doesn't get to uh, actually see everything like it's beautiful and yet it's also really sad i feel i don't know but i've been i've been taken away from the game for a little bit too long let's go ahead oh i can just move in okay all right yes i i want this seat can this one be mine 
Yes, I once wielded a sword as pr a proud member of the Arcadia Dragoons. I'm gonna say Arcadia, just primarily because that's an RPG I'm really familiar with, The Skies of Arcadia, and I don't really like the way that they spelled the knights in this one. It's it's said very weird. I this is where like I wish that there was dialogue in this game so that I could say it right. Glenn's father, Garai, the blacksmith Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. Oh, Zappa was like a freaking uh, knight too? That's cool. But that was a good 15 years ago. When Garai lost his life on the central continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. Oh, is that what... So, I guess, like, in this timeline... Because I'm assuming that this guy is the man. He might not be. I totally forgot what the guy looks like, honestly. But if this is him, then that would mean that uh, Garai must not have lost his life in my timeline. And then he became the little mayor of my town. That would be my thought process, but I could definitely be wrong. I officially retired four years ago after Dario received his father's sword, the Ein Lanzer. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Link's approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illnesses and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of poor with the power of this legendary jewel. Now, honestly, if it's like some kind of like, you know, fire thing, it's either A, going to freaking freeze hell over, destroy the world, or something else, you know? And honestly, I hope it's not freaking like... So I ha I draw, right? And I have a lot of characters, and I know I'm taking away from the game again, I'm so sorry. But I have a character who wields the power of fire. I named him Eddie. I love Eddie. He's very, very sweet, though he is... Proper menacing, and he is definitely due for a redesign, I feel. He is an Ifrit, who basically can up the temperature of his fire. Uh, you know, a type of magic that not a lot of people in the main timeline know. And yes, I said timeline, because in my story, there is definitely a bunch of time shenanigans that happen... And I'm trying my best to kind of keep track of everything that has to happen. But Eddie can basically turn his red fire into orange. Uh, he can turn it to yellow or green, uh, depending on, like, how hot he wants to go. But he can go all the way up to, like, white fire. And what ends up happening with the white fire is that it's so hot that he can basically burn a hole into other timelines. And he has learned to actually uh, somewhat control it. He doesn't exactly know how to control it, but at the end of, like... At the, like, uh, end, like not the end of his story, but, like, you know, at the climax of his story... He basically learns how to control it and uses it to basically gather up his allies and whatnot through time. And that's kind of where, like, if I do make, like, you know, a game or, like, a story, this is, like, where all the main characters just kind of, like, kind of like Dissidia, right? Like, it would be a very Dissidia-esque moment. I hope for a fact that this isn't what's happening here, because if that is the case, then that's going to be like, oh, this guy just copied it from this game, and I'm just like, oh.
<laughs> I never played this game all the way to the end, please. At least not when I made a D. I'm just pointing that out, just primarily because, like, you know, if somebody were to look back on this game and be like, oh, he's definitely played through this game. At this point, I don't know what this treasure does. This is, like, the farthest I've got. Okay, so, poor is a nation governed by materialism. It has brought suffering to many people on the central continent of Zenin. Perhaps the general envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Guardia was at one time. Or, is he planning to find the answer as to why we have continued to hurt and kill each other since antiquity? In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. Besides, there is no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. I mean, if anything, we shouldn't really be going into battle against a general in particular. Now, I know that generals aren't necessarily ranked due to how strong they are, but if I were to assume back in the day... It probably wouldn't be, you know, good. I would assume that generals were made generals for the fact that they actually fought on the battlefield. You know, like, sword to sword, mace to mace, and all that. And they would understand, you know, strategy, and, you know, they've lived long enough, and they have a bunch of experience. That's what I would assume General Viper would be. Very strong. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Rumor has it that they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. We have not encountered that. Why haven't we encountered that up to this point? I freaking rode this boat all across this area. Why wasn't that a thing? Macha the hell? And the thing is, is that, like, there could be, like, a lot of things hidden here that, like, I just, I have no idea about. That maybe, like, I can, like, get, right? Like, look, this would be a perfect place to, like, hide an item and whatnot. I am also going to allocate some jazz to... What is your element again? Your, your, is that green or is that yellow? I want to say that that's yellow. I'm just going to have to put a bunch of like elements and kind of, uh, See for myself, I guess. Oh man. I also find it really funny that like I I work in a paint department and yet I I can't tell colors. Photon ray. Wait, is that different from, like, the ray you have? You have photon ray. Is that... Is this better? Around the exact same as, uh, meteorite. So it must be better. And meteorite can be, like, one down, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Then Recover All is supposed to be stronger, but because I don't actually, uh, care too much for it. Uh, let's see. You could definitely, like... Let's just give you, like, some tablets, just to be on the safe side. 
I might need to go a, do a little bit of shopping, I think. But, let's talk to him. Take care of yourself. Okay, so I guess we're just going to leave. 